Well, this is my second video concerning the bailout. And at this point, I'm just kind of in shock. I'm sure most of the people who are subscribed to me have also been closely monitoring this whole financial crisis. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I just can't believe what's going on in the Senate. Given the numbers, it's obvious that the American public is overwhelmingly against the fundamental concept of a bailout or as it's being rebranded a rescue plan the people who need to be rescued are not the assholes on Wall Street the people who need to be rescued are average Americans I don't know why the senators and Congress think that we're so stupid that they can pull the wool over our eyes on this one by simply transforming the terminology of a bill. It's kind of deeply offensive and mind-numbingly idiotic. Um, and yet, it seems like they're probably going to get away with it at this point. My question is this. Who the hell are our representatives representing? They're supposed to be representing us. That's why they're called representatives. And yet, they're not listening to us. What exactly does that say about their performance? I'd say that the people should probably start looking for new um, representatives because... Uh, Obviously, those who claim to represent us are not doing their jobs, in which case they really don't deserve to maintain their positions, their comforts, their authority, their power. That should all be taken away from them. I watched a video um, with uh, Diane Feinstein commenting on the volume of calls and emails received 91,000 calls 85,000 of those were against the bailout now I don't know about you but that seems pretty definitive I mean assuming that there are millions of people out there who are not calling in who are for the bailout Honestly, does their opinion really matter at this point? No, because they're not commenting. I'd say that somebody's confused about who they represent. Confused about who they're working for. Now, I've been hearing another statement thrown out there that I think is very poignant and that is that where were all these protesters when the Patriot Act was being signed into law? Where were all these protesters when the Iraq War was authorized? Where was their outrage then? I mean, if money is all that really matters to people do they really deserve to even have money in the first place? In what universe does paying off debt with more debt make sense? Money is just a representation of value. That value is backed by a lot of things, mainly by confidence, trust, potential, integrity, when all of that relevance is stripped away and all you have left is a green piece of paper that really has nothing at all behind it, what do you have really?